In this video, I'm going to show Filip Krajinovic what he could do to hit much faster serves. Now, first, this video is courtesy of PTSO on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to their awesome channel. I've put their link in the description below. Now, first, I'm going to let you watch his serve two times in a row, and then I'm going to show you J.J. Wolf's serve two times in a row. Now, when comparing these serves, it's important to compare their fastest first serve and why Krajinovic struggles to hit big serves and J.J. Wolf hits monstrous first serves. So at the 2023 Aussie Open, Krajinovic's fastest first serve was 120 miles per hour. J.J. Wolf's fastest first serve, one. 36. That is an enormous difference. And I'm going to show you why this is happening. Uh, so let's first look at Kranovic. I want you to look at this position right here. If I draw a line along his back, notice where his elbow is. His hitting elbow is to the right of that line. If when we get to this same place in the serve for JJ, I draw the line along his back. Look where JJ's elbow is. It's to the left of that line. See, Krajinovic has zero coil. I mean, it's just, there's none. He doesn't turn his body. He is perfectly 90 degrees to the court. His chest is facing directly off to the right. When you look at Wolf, his chest is back. And he is really turning his back to Roberto Bautista Agu, where Tsitsipas can, you know, almost see his chest. <laughs> he's, you know, he's that much forward, Krajinovic. When you are lifting the racket up, it is in your best interest to, if you're a pinpoint stance user, feel like your knees are pointing to the back fence. Not directly to the back fence, but slightly toward the back fence. When we look at Kranovich's legs, we can see when his foot comes up, we can see his left leg to the left of the right leg. So we can see his left leg, but we see it on the left side. When we look at JJ, we see no left leg here. And in fact, we see the left leg on this side and we see his kneecap. Here we're looking at the back of Krajinovic's left knee. Here we're looking at the kneecap of Wolf. There is so much more coil that JJ is using, where he's using the Vic Braden elbow someone behind you idea, knocking off the birthday hat, and then absolutely annihilating this serve. I'm surprised, to be honest, that, I mean, maybe they have. Maybe I'm wrong, and they're like, look, they've tried it, and it just doesn't work. But I'm surprised that Krajinovic's team and coaches haven't looked at his serve and said, hey, your chest is facing straight over and your knees are pointing inside the court. Look at JJ. And, and by the way, Krajinovic is six foot one, six feet one inch. JJ is six feet flat. So uh, Krajinovic is actually taller, yet there's so much more explosion coming out of JJ's serve because of all of this uncoiling. So when you're going to go out and serve, you want to have a tremendous amount of coil where your chest is facing back slightly towards your back fence and that you're not perfectly sideways to the court, but that your opponent easily sees your back. I made a video a few days ago uh, showing how your butt cheek is actually kind of your left butt cheek for like JJ is kind of pointing at the opponent. That's how much coil and uncoil you can have. And if we actually look at the service speeds, these are both uh, first serves, by the way. These are both flat first serves. If we look at Krajinovic, 117 miles an hour, it's a little tough. It may be a little grainy, but I want you to look right here. Look at the um, miles per hour come up. It's 136. Uh, it's a little grainy probably, but if you look at the original video, you can see it's 136. 
JJ hits an ace right by Bautista Goot. In fact, look at Bautista Goot. He's having to guess because of the speed of the serve. And with uh, Tsitsipas, he's just right there. He just blocks it and the point continues. So I'm surprised that Krenovic is serving the way he is. This kind of reminds me of Diminar, where there's very little coiling of the body with the elbow not being back here. But hey, you know what? They're not asking for my opinion, but I'm giving it to them anyway. Start copying, <laughs> Philip. Start copying this elbow position and this coiling and then uncoiling like JJ. And I promise you, you're going to bomb serves and win a lot more matches. Now, if you're looking for people in your local area to play matches against or practice with, or if you want to find a coach who's close to you who can help you with your game, then use my link for Play Your Court. And it's playyourcourt.com slash two minute tennis. When you use my link to sign up, you get 50% off. The more you coil, on your serve, that allows you to uncoil. So we don't just wanna use our knees and go up, we also wanna turn, kinda of like stick in the butt over the baseline, and then uncoil. That corkscrew motion is gonna help Philip hit <laughs> much bigger serves. From the back, if I'm serving against this wall, this elbowing someone behind you lengthens the distance that the elbow has to travel forward which produces a ton of racket speed. The racket gets thrown off to the right and then you hit much harder. Philip, when you serve, your elbow is here. So the distance that your elbow has to travel, it's so small that you don't really get this big whip where you see JJ, his elbow's way back here. Philip, you're here, JJ's back here. That's a much longer distance for the elbow to travel. And by the way, JJ's toss timing is around 0.62. That means from the time the ball is at the top of the head until contact, where Phillips, Philip, yours is 0.93. That means you have a longer time to travel a shorter distance with your elbow. So that doesn't create the environment for racket speed. So try lowering your toss, but coil a lot more and feel, Philip, like your elbow is going way behind you. And when you uncork that serve, I promise you, you're gonna gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. Philip, you got this.